So hello everyone, it's Phil Jones from Projected Reviews and joining me is Andreas Gomez from Xjamie. So Andreas, how are you? All good, Philip. Thank you for having me. And I'm excited to talk about a new addition to your product lineup, which is called the Xjamie Aura, which is your first ultra short throw projector, correct? Yeah, that's right. So it's our, it's our first model for the Western market. Uh, we already have some big models for the Asian market, uh, and then we what we did was uh, choose one of those uh, the best performing products to bring it to the United States and Europe. But before we get started, we'd like to thank our sponsors, AV Pro Edge and Meridio, for helping us put on the Fall Projection Summit, where we talk about all the cool things you need for your home to create a great projection experience. So today, like I said, we're gonna be talking about this cool new XGME model. Now, we have um, actually reviewed several of their projectors, and one thing that's always stood out about it is, as he mentioned, they focus on the home user and trying to figure out what's the best way to blend a, a projection experience into any home or on the go. And one thing we've noticed about their projectors, they're really well made and the picture quality is very, very good. We've done several reviews on, a, on their models. We've done the Halo, the Halo Plus, the Horizon Pro and the Elfin. And all of them have been very, very good projectors. Um, good sound, good picture, really great functionality, excellent fit and finish. And the one we're talking about today, the Xgmi um, um, Aura, we are actually doing a review on as we speak. So you guys have won a ton of awards for not only from projector reviews but from other companies as well, correct? Yeah, that's right. So we 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 won different awards like from design awards right up to the most high qualified industry awards for projectors. So as you mentioned, yeah, projector reviews. You guys have uh, reviewed a lot of our models already. Uh, some of them get uh, got some uh, projector reviews. Um, Editor's choice, highly recommended. And we have um, in, in all our lineup um, that is very clear for the home entertainment uh, market. Um, we have awards from design uh, institutions like IF and Good Design, uh, read those awards. We also recently, with the Horizon Pro, which is our flagship product, we won an ETH award, best projector. Uh, best Buy projector for 2021. So it's been it's been really um, a very interesting year having our projectors in the hands of many of the experts like yourself, um, showing what a new way or or um, uh, and yeah, a new way of of using projectors for home entertainment um, would bring to the to the user. Yes, um, our one of our main reviewers, Cam. He travels a lot and he literally always has either a um, Xjamie Elfin or a, um, a Halo. Um, now he's got the Halo Plus, you probably never give it back, um, with him as he travels, because he goes from hotel to hotel and from location to location. And he always takes that projector and maybe something like a little Elite, um, elite Screens portable 75 inch, and he sets up a projection system in every hotel he goes to. So he loves the product and he continues to be a big fan. So he is the one that's actually doing the review on the Aura. So let's talk a little bit about this new projector. Um, the first thing is the design. Like design is a big thing for you guys. And I will tell you when I took it out of the box, the fit and finish is up to your standards. I thought it was outstanding. Yeah. So in terms of design, like all of our products, they go through um, a very rigorous design process. And down from the CEO and the founder of the company, they they all check every single detail for this project. So um, a fun fact about this is this projector is has I will see how it's slightly bended. This is we did this on purpose. Um, we wanted to make the projector a little bit more seamless. The form factor is very nice. The color combination that um, kind of a space gray with combined with a with a black color, and then the front is covered um, is covered in a fabric, uh, covering the the hardness hard features. So, so we did a lot of work on on finishing this uh, this projector. 
Yeah, because one thing we have to talk about is the fact that when you have a normal, a normal projector, it, it's probably behind you, or it's very rare that it's in front of you. But if you look at an ultra short throw projector, it is literally three or eight inches from the screen. So it's always kind of in front of you. So it's something that's going to be basically um, front and center in your entertainment experience. So it needs to be an attractive piece, um, something almost like a, a piece of furniture or to to really so you really want it to look really good and like i said the curves the shape the fit and finish the materials you use like all of your xemi products have been excellent now um let's quickly talk about some of the technologies built into this projector and like you mentioned that you've done them in asia but this is the first one you've brought to the u.s right yeah that's right so uh so we had already uh six models of laser projectors we started doing laser projectors way back, like in 2015. We have come with one of the most, um, the, the projector that brings the most value for the users. Um, this is what we believe uh, could be a start to replace uh, TVs. So mm -hmm. in, in our position for this is to bring something that is simple enough, beautiful enough uh, that and start to compete with, with what a TV can do. Uh, we have put together uh, some of the technologies that we have uh, for uh, the rest of the Jimmy projectors. We have put it together into the, into the laser TV category. Uh, mm -hmm. This is the first one of, of many that we'll bring throughout, the, throughout these few years. Um, as, as you can see, this is, uh, this is a 4K, as you mentioned. Um, it's a single laser, and being our starter model, we will come with, with more models later on, but uh, we believe this is the one that brings the most, um, the best user experience for in laser TV at the moment. When you look at a laser TV, you want it to be bigger than what you would get on a regular flat panel. That's one of the advantages. And when you look at dollars per inch, nothing matches that of a um, a projector, or like, especially like an ultra short throw projector. So, for example, you get an 85 inch TV for 4,000 bucks now. Um, when you start talking about a 100 inch TV, you're talking 20,000 US. And if you go beyond that, we're talking six figures. And so, if you're looking for a large immersive picture, this is a great option for you. Now, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here we're going to talk about. So, 4K. Yeah, perfect projector. Yeah, so a based on DLP technology, so again, Texas Instruments, uh, one of our our most uh, long partners. Um, we use a point forty seven chipset, um, and this gives us the the capacity to bring eight point three million pixels uh, to the frame. Yeah, and and one of the other benefits of a, a DLP projector and a laser is combine. It it really reduces the amount of a uh, maintenance required. Lasers can last tens of thousands of hours, you know, without you having to worry about it failing. Like a bulb, you're, it's almost like a countdown. When you think about how many hours is on my bulb, that isn't a, really a conversation with a laser projector. So this DLP combined with laser really means high performance for a long period of time, which is really, really cool. And of course, um, you need that higher resolution um, and that laser if you really want to optimize the picture quality for um, 4K content as well as HDR10 content. So does this projector, um, Andrea, support more than HDR10, like HLG? Yeah, HDR10 and HLG. So um, it, it brings uh, everything you need into a very high quality picture um, to, the, to the laser TV. Um, part of what we say why your next TV is not a TV, this is the, the slogan for this projector, is that uh, the picture quality itself is good enough to compete with almost any TV out there in the market. So, so we, work, uh, we work hard with our engineers, our imaging engineers, to make sure the 4K, uh, the 4K resolution comes to life in the right way. So uh, we bring that plus HDR10, uh, trying to, to match all the, the content that is coming from uh, creators, uh, that we bring the colors and we bring the picture quality as the, as the directors or as the filmmakers uh, are, are thinking about.
not only is the picture um, have rich colors, um, it's also pretty darn bright. So tw 2400 anti lumens is, um, especially if you're using an ambient light rejecting screen, allows you to utilize this projector day and night. It can replace your TV. You don't have to have a projector for the nighttime and a TV for the daytime. Yeah, that's right. So, so these projectors, the any any laser projector that you wanted to be uh, useful for your home, it needs to be bright enough that you can use it as a centerpiece. Uh, mm -hmm. So, what we mean by centerpiece is that this should replace your main screen at home. So, if it's your living room, living rooms are usually light, um, are very bright. Uh, so, if it's your living room, you need to be able to replace that that centerpiece screen that that you have there. And for that, the projector has to be bright enough. Uh, as, as you mentioned, 2,000 parameter anti lumen is bright enough that you can use it in broad daylight um, in, in a big space like a living room. Now, um, there are some other technologies too that you, that you have in here. Like, for example, for us sports fans, can you talk a little bit about your motion technology? Sure. So, uh, we, we include NEMC in most of our projectors because we know that we will be using this much more in a home entertainment uh, rather than a home theater kind of view. So you will be watching TV as the way that you do usually. Uh, that means watching a lot of sports, football games, uh, uh, cars, um, uh, Grand Prix. So things like that are fast moving um, in motion and fast moving pictures. So uh, with with our R and D team, uh, we have built in uh, a lot of the uh, AI powered um, uh, a lot of AI powered MEMC corrections uh, into the projection. This is, comes from from as I mentioned from many of the other models that we have brought to market. Uh, we have perfection a lot of the MEMC capabilities of our projectors. And for the Aura, we have brought the latest a version of that EMC from Xtreme. The next thing we have to be concerned with, of course, is sound. Uh, if you if it's going to replace a TV, many projectors have don't have sound systems, or their sound systems are lacking, not very very good. So um, Xtreme projectors have always had very good sound systems, and this is no different, right? Yeah, that's right. So Harman Kardon being our one of our our partners for for a long time. Um, we we developed this uh, speaker system. So in total, there is a uh, 60 watts of power. It's actually divided in four different speakers uh, of 15 watts each, and and uh, two of them being subwoofers um, and and two tweeters. So uh, we have covered almost the 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 whole spectrum of of what you would expect for a, from a soundbar. Uh, this, of course, you can connect any other speakers that you would like for more surround, uh, for, for a more surround system. Uh, but we are bringing everything together, uh, plus Dolby Audio uh, capabilities and DTS uh, decoding. So uh, it's basically just putting a really powerful sound bar on top of this great picture so that there is no need to actually go for anything else. Uh, out of the the projector itself. So for a lot of a lot of people who have a small apartment or you're looking for something for a bedroom, um, for many customers this is way better than what they used to coming from a flat panel TV. This the projector also in the back. Um, it has all of the things you would expect in a smart pro uh, smart projector, such as audio output and and things such as arc output. So you can plug it into a big sound system or a even bigger sound bar if you want to. Another thing that is important to many people who are buying projectors is um, how it's smarts. How smart is the projector? And you guys are utilizing Android, but you're not even utilizing, you're using the latest version of Android, which is called Android 10. So can you talk about that? Yeah, so uh, we want to bring the best user experience on TVs that is out there in the market and that undoubtedly is Android TV, right? So Android TV has a, a, the most intuitive experience that you could have. You have it up and running in a matter of seconds. Uh, it's totally connected, so Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 
Um, of course, Android TV brings a lot of uh, power and a lot of usability to this. Um, 5,000 or 6,000 applications, I think, is right now. Uh, you can use anything from YouTube to uh, Amazon Prime, Hulu, to a lot of these streaming applications, but also you can play games on it. So, so there, is, there is a lot of these um, advantages to the Android ecosystem inside, inside TV uh, nowadays. Yeah, and it's really well integrated into the projector. Um, I had a chance to play with it before I sent it off to, to Cam. Uh, like you mentioned, sometimes when you get a smart projector, you literally get two remote controls just for the projector yeah. because the smarts aren't really built in. It's a dongle that you add to the back. And basically, instead of you going out and getting buying a Roku, they just threw a Roku or a Google, a Google device into the box. It isn't seamlessly integrated. So you still feel like you have two remote controls if you really want to go in and do all of your adjustments. Adjustments. Um, voice you can use because this is a Android, um, Android, an Android TV device. All of the voice stuff. So if you have Google Assistant enabled devices, you can turn on your lights. You can you can do all sorts of stuff. I have actually have on. I actually loaded what's called it's an app that if someone rings my door, I can actually bring up the app and I can see who's at my door on my TV without going downstairs um, to open the door. So lot all of the flexibility you would find in a smart TV built directly into this projector. One more thing I wanna point out about it is um, this Android 10 thing is kind of a big deal. Most Android enabled projectors do not support the, the Netflix app natively. So you have all the other apps, you have your Disney Pluses and, and your your HBO Maxes and your Amazon Primes and your YouTube, but when you tried to download the Netflix app, um, it was not there. And I was just playing with this device, um, which has Android TV 10, as well as the Halo Plus, your new Xtreme Halo Plus, which has Android TV 10. And lo and behold, I can actually download the Netflix app. And that alone means one, you're less likely to have to go out and buy another. Um, uh, device for that particular source because we know how popular um, Netflix is globally. And of course, all the connectivity you would ever want. If you're looking for HDMI or playing something off of a USB stick or connecting it wirelessly or optical out for a sound bar, um, HDMI arc, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. If you want to get sound in or picture in and sound out, um, it has everything you need to get that done. Uh, and of course, there is the um, uh, built-in Chromecast that comes with the Android TV 10.0, uh, which means that you can easily mirror phones and tablets into the into the projector. Now, the other thing too is setup. Um, uh, people are intimidated for, by um, when setting up a projector, and you have some technologies in here to make that hassle-free, right? Yeah, that's right. So, so from beginning to end, I. Uh, the first time you set up this projector, you could do it in less than two minutes. So, if, as you know, what our our main goal, and we are very much consumer driven. So, we want consumers to not have to think about setup at all. Most projectors, uh, laser TVs, uh, they come with four point keystones, so you just, you can adjust corners. But if you are using only a wall, for example, Usually walls, they, they sometimes they are not flat, so they are a little bit bended, and you get this kind of arc uh, picture. So you need this point in between that you can make a perfectly square a picture. And, and not to say that this is very important also for the screen, uh, because if you, if you like to see it perfect all the time, you will get very annoying if you see some part of the lighting uh, going out of the screen. So we have bring this eight points a correction to the to the projector so that you are able to fit perfectly the the screen or any kind of setup that that you have at home for the projector. Your price point, by the way, for its feature set is outstanding. Um, many yeah. of the um, if you, you mentioned it was going to be what in the um, twenty four ninety nine is where you're is where you're yeah. is where you're targeting. So that is a very competitive price, if, especially when you see the fit and finish and the feature set that is built into this projector. We are gonna be doing a review on the Aura, so please stand by. 
But to learn more about all of the other cool Xtreme products that are being that they make, check out some of our reviews on projectorreviews.com or check out xgenie.com to find out more about the, the products that they offer. So Andreas, thank you for coming. And I hope to see you again when you have another new toy for me. Perfect, Philip. Of course, you, you, you are the first one to get our projector too. <laughs> All right, so take care, everyone, and we will talk to you soon. Okay, thank you. Thank <laughs> you.